First of all, you closed the show with a bang. I closed with a bang. You closed with a bang. Oh, good. The three rules. The three rules. That last yeah. one, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you come up with that one from? Uh, where'd I come up with that? Yeah, that last rule. Oh, was, you know, just playing, playing, trying to, what was a good way to get off the stage? <laughs> I mean, you got to remember at the roots, I'm a comic, so I could write a joke. Yeah. So I wrote it, you know. No, it was a good one, too, yeah, by the way. Yeah, cool. Or what does it mean to receive this award tonight? And, and is, I mean, because your career's not over, so what does it mean to receive this award tonight? Well, actually, my career is over. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Did you add it? <laughs> no, no. It's uh, this is nice. It's nice to to get to get some recognition and and to get a nice award. You and you appreciate it more when you're older. Yeah, yeah. And it means more to you. Yeah. What's what's she? Where's Nichelle going? I, she's standing here. She's supposed to be standing right here. And she doesn't want to come. She wants she's supposed to be standing here uh -huh. next to you. Sit down. We both wanted to interview you. We're kicking it. We're doing both. <laughs> but no, really, what does this award mean to you? What does it mean? It's a it's a, a, a prestigious award, and uh, like I said, what, to receive stuff like this when you're older, you really appreciate it more. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Listen, you just sat up there and said, 46 years in the business, 41 years doing movies, and your career was a success because you kept Will Smith's wife name out your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said that's the that's the blueprint. That's the, the blueprint. blueprint for doing yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> because in reality, I, I've worked with Jada. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Whoa! Don't say yeah, her name. I love Will. Well, it was, no, I she love was Will, and I love I love Chris and Will, and it's all love. It's, we can have one of those beer summits like Obama did. You mm -hmm. know, when he was healing stuff. You can do that this year. Maybe try to get them back together. Nah, they yeah. work. They work it out. Okay, so I was interviewing Jerry Bruckheimer on the carpet, and he said, "You're done." With Beverly Hills Cop, you're done filming. Oh yeah. Okay, so take us back. What happened? I thought that he told you I was done, like I'm never doing anything. Because <laughs> when we when we stopped making the movie, I was like, I'm not doing no more Beverly Hills Cop. Because it was so so hard. So I did Why Beverly was it so hard? because I did Beverly Hills Cop when I was 21. Mm -hmm. I'm 61. <laughs> so go play any character you played when you was 21. It's just was, and it's a physical, the action movie, and you know, it was just really, really hard. <laughs> and they would have to. There was one time when I was, <laughs> was supposed to be running down some steps, and uh, the director after the take came and said, uh, "Can we get another one with with a greater, faster, and a greater sense of urgency?" And I was like, "Get the f out of here, yo!" I was maxed out. I was maxed out. <laughs> Jerry said that this one's emotional, Eddie, that we're seeing your heart in this one. Yeah. Because it has to do with you and your daughter. Now talk, tell me about it. Well, it's emotional because, like I said, I was 61 and I was doing action scenes. And you see my heart beating through my chest because <laughs> I had many times where I felt like I was going to die on the set. It's just, you know. I know some actors get into doing that type of st uh, stunts and stuff. And before the movie, I said to Jerry, I said, listen. I'm 61, and don't ask me to do <laughs> that you wouldn't ask Morgan Freeman to do. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, no, we're going to have somebody, have the dude come in, the stunt double, and I said, okay. But then there was, there's some stuff that you have to do, so I find myself jumping and running and rolling around, and all that, and it was a lot. You also have your new movie with Nia and Jonah. You People. Yes. Which I'm so excited for people to see. It's so funny and edgy and smart. Kenya Barris uh, directed it and, and wrote it with Jonah. And, uh, you know, most romantic comedies are just uh, funny and sweet. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is kind of like the way uh, uh, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner had this edge to it because it's mm -hmm. this, this, this race conversation and it, it gave it this edge that's not usually in romantic comedies. Okay, so I want to um, play Inspector Gadget a little bit, like Flashlight Cop. Jamie Lee Curtis comes up to help present the Cecil B. DeMille Award to you. Mm -hmm. You guys were in Trading Places together in 83. Mm. She's in the new Haunted 40 Bay. years ago. 40 mm. years ago. 40 years ago. Mm. <laughs> She's in what? She's in the new Haunted Mansion. The new Haunted Mansion? Mm -hmm. They made a new Haunted Mansion movie? I'm yes. Just kidding. Okay. Will you be in the new Haunted Mansion? 
Well, I did a Haunted Mansion movie, and it didn't. It wasn't very good. <laughs> so I don't know if they want to bring the old baggage and have me <laughs> stinking up the new one. <laughs> but my Haunted Mansion was not all that. Would you stop, Eddie? Every movie. My you no, my Haunted Mansion was not all that in the bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call it and by the way Tracy was pretty funny tonight always funny I love Tracy Morgan mm -hmm. yeah I love him and he talked about what Delirious meant to him and also we got a chance to see that retrospective what went through your mind as you watched all those things that you've done throughout your career it's, yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know if anything was you know what was going through my mind right before that it was so cold where we were sitting that I literally had to get up and go in the back and warm up because I started feeling like I was going to have a panic attack. I was like shaking. So that's what I was thinking. When they were showing that uh, video, I had just calm calmed down. It was, so I was... And you get nervous. No, it was, it, was, it was so cold and it was already had a little nervous energy and I have anxiety. So kind of uh, sitting there for like three hours. I don't know if we would like right under it or whatever, but... I started getting shaky, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yes, I get shaky. I love this. I'm just a, I'm just a human. <laughs> I'm just a human. What is the most, what, what do people come up to you and quote the most? They say all different kind of, you know, I have a lot of catchphrases from movies. It's almost like mm. hooks on records. That's true. So people come yeah. up and say sexual chocolate and they say, Hercules, yeah. Hercule hot, hot tub. Yeah, they say, they, they, what is that, velvet? They say, <laughs> I say that. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. People come and say different things. Yeah, but not one more than the other. Just no. The strangest thing a person's ever said to me, I was coming out of a hotel once, and a guy said to me, uh, hey, man, you still got that laugh? And I said, uh, yeah, and he said, was that real or was that computers? Computers. <laughs> he was dead Come serious. On. Dead Come serious. On. Come on. And he leaned in like it was secretive too. He was like, "Was that real or was that computer?" Did and you I, give him the laugh then? No, I just kind of. How do you? What do you do when someone says? I just kind of looked. And then I left. I walked away. Were your kids watching tonight? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, they're not. Well, you got a couple of young. Well, my ones, little yeah. ones. They were. They were all sitting and watching. Uh, but it, it's past their bedtime, so yeah, they might have caught the tail end of it. Uh, and my big ones, they're all over the place. The big ones that are here, mm -hmm. they, they, I'm sure they're they here with it. you. Some are here tonight. No, the big ones that are in the states. Yeah, okay. My, my, a couple of my daughters are traveling. You have it, like, and, and you, like, have you gotten over your daughter getting married? You walking her down the aisle? You giving her away? Well, that was just a beautiful thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except I caught COVID <laughs> at the wedding. Wait, you caught COVID at, at the wedding? At the wedding, yeah. <laughs> Who else? Just you. Of, no, no, a bunch of people caught COVID. At the, and we had testing and all that <laughs> And then we found out afterwards that people were going past the, the testing. You know, I tested already. It was like all this <laughs> We didn't have any security out there. We just thought everybody would take their test. But people kind of like bum rushed the wedding. Then, you know, then came and hugged you. Then, af then right after the wedding, we fly out to uh, uh, to my we meet my daughter on her honeymoon in Hawaii. Wait, you went on your daughter's honeymoon? No, with no, her? she went the first. She went the first week. Okay. By herself. Okay. Then the second week you showed up. Then the second week we flew out, <laughs> and the moment I landed, I tested positive for COVID, and had to stay in the hotel room, isolate. <laughs> The whole <laughs> vacation. What? Just you? Well, another one of my daughter. Two of my daughters caught it in me, but I, I, I was the one paying for everything because <laughs> I had to be on the balcony so, looking down at everybody, <laughs> having fun and eating and waving. And say, you having a great time? <laughs> yeah. I said, I'm gonna take another Paxlovid. <laughs> See y'all in about six days. We ask you this every time, but when are you coming back to the stage? I know, are, are you, you doing know, I had planned. I, I had planned to do stand up right before the pandemic hit, and uh, I was thinking, getting ready to go to the clubs and start working out. Then that whole started, and I and I was nuts about COVID. I stayed in my house for two years. 
Well, it's not hard to do. But literally, literally two years, I was like, didn't leave the ground, didn't go outside. And uh, then when it all calmed down, I started making movies again. And it's now it's like, oh, you're going to go do stand-up? And it's like, uh, yeah, I, I, I guess so. That's still the plan, to do stand-up. But now I got to do mm. two or three movies now. You were so cautious, and have then you do, turned around and got COVID as soon as you went do, out in the world. I have to do George Clinton first before I do mm. before I do stand-up. 